Hey, what's up guys? Trevor with Shadow Systems, Technical Tuesday. We're out at the range today and I want to explain a little bit more about the secret inner workings of the DR920P. Okay, I got the gun here. So everybody knows by now that the front sight is mounted on the compensator. That's a big deal. When you're shooting the gun fast, if you use iron sights, that, that sight tracks and stays out there while the slide is doing this, right? It helps you track the sight. However, Putting the sight on the compensator is kind of a technical business because if that compensator doesn't stay clocked to the barrel, meaning dead straight all the time, then you are going to have your windage shift in your group because the, if the barrel is, if the comp is moving a little bit, then your front sight is too. So that created a technical problem that we had to overcome with the locking key inside the barrel. And I just want to show kind of what that key is and why it's there and how it works. Okay, so. You can kind of see the back of it there. This is a prototype barrel, so just ignore that. You can kind of see the back of it there. It is inside both the barrel and the compensator. Okay, I'm gonna take the compensator off and we're gonna look at it more closely. So to remove the compensator, you push out that pin and then the comp comes off from the front. All right, now check it out. There's the key, okay? It is completely locked in place inside the channel in the compensator. It cannot come out. Come out. But the value is, it's a little tiny bit wider than the space it occupies. It creates an interference fit so that this compensator can never twist, okay? I know some people look at that and they think, well, you know, maybe that's going to come out or something. I just want to make a quick point about that. So I'm going to leave that there. Here's a, I guess a 17 round mag. Let's shoot it. The, the, the locking key is going to just be exposed right there, okay? Let's shoot it. Okay, and you'll notice it's still there. So it is press fit in place. You can actually replace it if you need to. If you ever need to replace it, you just take a little Allen key or something and pop it out and press the new one in. But I wanted to just make the point, that's why it's there. It is to keep the front sight from rotating. It will not come out. It will not release if the compensator is in place or if the gun is fired without the compensator. All right, that's all I have for today. That's the story of the locking key on the DR920P, and we'll see you next time.